Hello again and welcome to the second part of my chat with Dr. Michael Manuel. Now here's a follow-up of that checkup. The manner of cooking, the manner of preparing the meat. Because if I am, for example, if I am a patient with coronavirus or if I am asymptomatic, a carrier of the virus, and then I eat that hot pot and share the hot pot with others, if I have secretions, meaning I sneeze, I cough, I talk to these people, and the people around me are uh, susceptible, mahina yung immune system nila, or I share food. So, kinain ko tapos may saliva o laway ako doon na transmit doon sa iba. It can possibly uh, affect or infect that person. And the way we cook, because we need to, uh, viruses, uh, usually mamamatay sila, and even bacteria, high temperature, so high heat. So, please uh, cook your meat properly and prepare them properly. In terms of temperature, boiling, uh, temperature more than 100 degrees centigrade. Sometimes within 10 minutes, 15 minutes, the recommendation, but it depends again on the food that we prepare. It's a very good question actually, but again, uh, there's no scientific evidence currently that the virus can stay longer in, in clothes or furniture, doorknobs, railings, and so on. But the most important here is once we touch this doorknobs, hand railings, because we don't know if I'm sick, if I had to touch that doorknob or hand railings, uh, and another person would go inside the room, touch that doorknob, so then definitely that person may acquire the disease. So it's important to stop the chain of infection and transmission of the dis dis disease, this virus, we need to observe proper hygiene, like washing our hands for 20 seconds with soap and water. If we do not have access to these facilities, water and soap, we may use alcohol. A 70% alcohol would be fine to 80% because the alcohol composition is 70% the alcohol and 30% water. We usually use distilled water to make this 100% uh, composition. Because the more alcohol content, because some people would ask, bakit hindi 100%? Bakit hindi 90%? Because kung mas mataas ang alcohol concentration niya, mas mabilis siya mag-evaporate sa air. So it requires the for the virus, if you want to kill the virus or any bacteria, you need to have uh, this standard um, temperature range at uh, not the temperature concentration range para may expose yung envelope may expose yung bacteria or may expose yung virus doon sa alcohol para mamatay siya if the concentration of alcohol is lower like for example 40 percent then mas mataas naman yung water content niya so ang ibig sabihin yun matagal bago mamatay ang virus and sometimes because mababa not all the virus would be uh, would be killed Based on my practice, based on our practice, that the colored part of that uh, surgical. surgical mask, it should be on the outside because it has three layers, okay? And uh, the, the first layer, the one that we use, the white part, usually absorb uh, our, uh, our secretions. And the blue part or the green part, it's the one that filters uh, the once you inhale. Um, this kind of things but again the bottom line here is please check your mask if this mask have higher uh, uh, efficiency uh, filtration efficiency <laughs> again answer is no <laughs> okay once you've used your mask uh, remember uh, you don't know because you don't test what kind of bacteria, ma what type of viruses na nandiyan na sa, sa mask ninyo. And just imagine if you remove it and then put a paper and then after three days you would or use it again. No. No. No, no scientific explanation, no data to prove this. Uh, currently, we have different types of diagnostic kits to determine the presence of the microorganism, particularly the coronavirus. However, medyo may katagalan uh, ito. So if you want to determine, we need to have a rapid test 
kit para ma-determine ka agad na one day, ah, ito may coronavirus, ah, ito hindi. But currently, John, we do not have any uh, uh, things na ganito na magsasabi na, oh, ito positive, oh, ito negative for coronavirus. No, because again, the signs and symptoms are very non-specific. Because some diseases uh, can lead to viru, uh, fever, can have uh, pneumonia, can have runny nose, etc., etc. So, very non-specific. Halos pare-pareho in the beginning. Uh, but again, ang pinaka-crucial yung 14 days. Because most viruses in, the, in, in, in our study, uh, ito yung pinaka-period niya, 14 days. The bottom line is people should have a knowledge People should be smart because these microorganisms are lower, meaning we are the highest form of living organism. And we need to outsmart them because we need to know the, the, the mode of transmission, how we prevent, how we acquire this disease. If we just know this one, we will avoid all this. Uh, we will not worry too much. We will not panic in short. Four, four to six hours the most if you are in a, in, in a situation where are you are working in a close contact with, with, with a patient. And if it's really dirty, I know that there are times that uh, it becomes dirty. You need to dispose it. You need to cut it. Cutting it because some people have used reusing it. Uh, there are some uh, individuals that accidentally that they would for example I put my mask on a certain area and I thought that my employer or my friend thought that it's a unused one so they could uh, easily use it so better to protect others as well by cutting it dispose it in a proper bin and wash your hands again same with uh, taking care of newborn patients because extreme ages sometimes their immunity uh, masyadong hindi yun sa baby hindi pa ganun fully develop ang immunity doon sa medyo older bumababa na yung kanilang uh, immunity so therefore yung resistance nila to infections to microorganism mas mabilis lalo na kung may comorbid condition sila meaning they have asthma they have diabetes they have cancer or they are taking medications to suppress yung kanilang immunity so more prone sila. Now we've come to the end of the show. I hope you found the episode useful. Catch you again next time. Thank you so much for joining me.